Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Abwasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. It feels like forever <laughs> since I filmed a YouTube video. June, birthday month, I did the most, but it was capital H for enjoyment. Enjoyment. I really, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what 26 brings. Now we are back to the consistent YouTube videos. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing... Initially, I wanted to do like a question tag type of thing as I do my makeup. As you can see, I only have half of my makeup done. I put together something really quick for the eyes so that we can do um, skin together because I feel like I can multitask better while doing skin and answering questions um i searched i tried to search for a question tag i couldn't find any like recent ones uh on the internet so what i did is i just put together words and this is um inspired by the newsletter so every week i usually have a newsletter it goes up every monday and i usually have certain words that prompt to um, basically evaluate the previous week and I just give details that are basically exclusive that have been going on in my life and so that's what we're going to be doing today but um, I guess a bit different because they're not the exact same word prompts that I usually use so I just typed them out on my phone picked a few and let's get into it already starting to question my multitasking skills but first we're going in with a primer I have been drinking the mocktails at Samaki Samaki and let me tell you guys they are it a lot of places when you go and you order a mocktail it usually feels like it's just a bunch of juices mixed together but then I've been drinking their gin fizz and it really tastes like a gin fizz minus the gin and i really i love that because i like cocktails because of how they taste so it's really nice to be able to have the same taste minus the alcohol because yo like i said june we overdid it <laughs> we need to relax this month i have been admiring people who are a bit more I guess easy going and laid back and can do spontaneous things the way I am set up my personality trait everything has to be planned out <laughs> and if it does not go according to plan I am panicking like the uh, I, I, I don't know I just feel like my world is coming down so yeah I've really been admiring people who can just spontaneously do things and so I've been trying to you know get into spontaneous plans I have been wearing, or rather, I guess what I've been loving to wear is this top that I'm wearing right here. You can't really see it clearly, but I think it's somewhere on my Instagram feed, so I should be able to insert a picture for you guys. And let me tell you guys, I love this top so much that when I passed by a misguided, I spotted um, similar ones and at the time i thought they were exactly the same but in different colors and i was like oh my god i have to get these new colors and i actually brought them here so i can show them to you guys oh child i need to be careful not to put foundation on them but yeah so as you can see i got a lime green one and i have this white one right here it's a bodysuit like that um now the thing is i got home and turns out they're not exactly the same <laughs> this one's the arms are a bit different compared to this one's the buttons these ones are just free like this also the front is a bit different anyways point is i thought they were exactly the same turns out they're not but i'm still loving them they make me look effortlessly chic if I'm being extremely honest with what I've been deciding on, let me give let me give a bit of a background. You know how some people love to collect designer handbags or love to col collect shoes or something like that. If I could, I would be collecting cars. Like I'll just wake up, look at my driveway, and it would be full of different options of cars. Like I just 
I like cars like that. Um, <laughs> so I've really been deciding about whether or not it's financially smart to get a new one right now. Um, I wouldn't really call it deciding. I guess I've decided that maybe it's really not the right time, especially this year. If you remember on my um, vision board, I had put investing. So this year, let me just keep it for investments. Obviously, if I'd get a new one, I would, you know, sell this other one. So we're still far from my dream of a driveway filled with options when it comes to cars. But yeah, I guess soon, maybe next year, but one. But for now, I think there is a couple of more smarter ways I could be spending that money. I have been loving. I feel like loving is not even a big enough term. This scent right here, it is Fever by Jimmy Choo. You can see it. I'm not sure if you can see the Jimmy Choo written there, but it's Fever by Jimmy Choo. I got it at Duty Free and let me tell you guys, oh, it smells so nice. It smells so nice and sweet. Hey, I almost just applied this everywhere. <laughs> it smells so nice and sweet and I love it so much. I usually am very sensitive to scents. It just makes my bubbles, I mean my stomach bubble up. If I sit next to you or stand next to you in line and your um, perfume or cologne is really, really strong, I don't know the correlation between my nose and my stomach, but guys, it, it just happens to me. But this, it just, it, it agrees with me. I mean, I can bathe in it, literally, and it, it doesn't affect me at all. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm applying this the wrong way today. But yeah, I can literally bathe in it and it doesn't um, affect me. Uh, my cousin smelled it yesterday and she was like, oh my god, she was going to get the other Bulgari one that I usually say smells like someone's grandma, <laughs> like a sweet old grandma, she was going to get that one instead, but once she smelled this, she was like, girl, this is it, so yeah, needless to say, it's my signature scent from now on. <laughs> I actually love reality TV shows, whether it is scripted, whether it is real, I'm that person who I will watch it, I will watch it all. And there's this new one that I've seen on Netflix, um, it's called Snowflakes, it's one that I've been watching, I don't know if it has um, any other words after Snowflake, I just remember Snowflake, and it's about um, teenagers, not really teenagers, let's say young adults who are basically um, not reaching their full potential in life, they're still living at home and their parents have lied to them that they're going to, you know, a fun reality TV shows, but apparently it's like a kaboot camp sort of situation. Is it the most entertaining? Not really. Will I watch all the episodes? Yes, I most certainly will. <laughs> I have been loving anything um, chili, sour, Oh, those are like the key things I've been looking for in anything I eat. And let me tell you guys, I have this plug. He's normally at um, next to Visa Oshwal in Parklands, but then I usually just send an Uber. He sells the cassava crisps and then he packs for you with a lemon and chili. Can you see how my mouth is watering? Oh, oh. when I tell you guys there is one night I ate so much uh, I ate so many of those crisps with a lot of chili, I could barely feel my tongue. Like I'd eat, 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 then I'd take a break because my tongue is burning. A few minutes later, I want more, so I'd just gobble them up. And by the time I was going to bed, I was literally just like this, because my tongue was <laughs> in pain. But oh my God, yeah, Moha really, really comes through. And the chili he packs for you is so much so so much that you can even use it on other stuff after your crisps are done i yeah i love it i usually just send an uber and they bring it to me one thing that i definitely need to do is um learn a lot especially when it comes to new ways of marketing business let me tell you guys we're always talking about character development uh, in terms of relationships hey kuna character development business can give you 
<laughs> tea for tough tea for tough but yeah i really need to um learn so i've been looking for resources everywhere online at least this day's information is literally free you just need to spend your time looking for it i wouldn't even just mind investing and paying just to learn new ways to market the business and also to um to just run it new ways to run it a bit more efficiently i have been wishing <laughs> that i could go to a hotter place i mean this nairobi weather uh, yo, it is it's not it it is not it let me tell you guys the day i came back from my trip when i left dubai because dubai it's summer right now it was 40 degrees landed in nairobi it was 15 15 degrees you guys that first night was brutal my feet were even hurting i was like hi ah, yo is this a city or is this a fridge because ah, ah, please it was way 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 too cold i have been buying a lot of makeup and a lot of it is just to um, I guess replace a lot of the old makeup that I have because I realized I some of these things might even be expired So yeah, if you've noticed even on today's video, we've used a lot of new things I will link everything down below in the description bar. It wasn't really a tutorial. That's why I didn't Get into anything or explain anything. I don't know if you guys are even into makeup like that over here on YouTube anymore But yeah, I leave everything listed down below in the description and that is it for this week's video thank you so so much for keeping me company as i did my makeup usually when i'm doing my makeup for youtube i do it and then immediately remove it and start editing the video but at least i have a few more videos to film with this look so i will see you guys next time always remember to work hard and have good intentions bye